Well, welcome back everybody to another Word on a Wednesday. Um, if I can be honest and open with you, like yesterday I struggled. Um, I, I feel like I'm at the stage of this, during this crisis where I'm at the anger stage. You know, where I'm just mad that we're still going through this, mad that we're still stuck at home, struggling and angry and asking why are people getting sick and why is this such a big deal and why is this still going on and, and why can't I get outside and, and why can't I go and get back to normal and, and just all these things. And I would just be open and honest. I was just struggling. Uh, not that I didn't trust God, but just struggling with where we're at. And, and maybe you can relate to that. And this morning, my wife, you know, she knew of my struggle. And, and this morning she said to me, she goes, hey, I just want you to know, um, God knew that you were going to be the lead pastor at River's Edge during this season. Knew, no, knew that when he gave you this job and brought you to this place, that you would be leading this church in the midst of this crisis. And he created you for that. So it's okay. Like you're, you were created on purpose for this. And it just reminded me of this verse in, in Acts, in Acts chapter 17, Luke is writing and he's writing about Paul when Paul was talking to some people about who God is and he's describing God as that God created all the world and everything in it. And then he says this in verse 26, he says, from one man, God created and has made every nationality to live over the whole earth and has determined their appointed times and the boundaries of where they live. And normally I would go on to the next verse where it says he did this so that they would seek after God and perhaps reach out and find him. And I love this verse because it, it really tells us that the purpose of life, no matter when you've been born or where you were born, is so that you would seek God and find God, that God wants a relationship with all of us. But during this crisis, I, I was really reminded of that first part, that he determined their appointed times and their appointed boundaries. He knew when they were gonna be born and where they were gonna be born. God determined that ahead of time. And what it spoke to me was this, that God knew ahead of time that you and I were going to live in the midst of this COVID-19 crisis and be stuck in a shelter in place and go through exactly what we're going through. God knew ahead of time that we were gonna be in this place, in this moment. And instead of continuing to look to God and say, why are you allowing this to happen? Why is this going on? Why are people getting sick? Why are people dying? Why are we still stuck at home? Why is all this happening to me, God? Instead of that, what if we shifted our why to what? What, God, do you have for me? And what, God, do you have for me to do? What if we looked at the situation and said, God knew I'd be here, and he, he allowed me to be in this situation, and he knew I'd be going through this. What is it that he has for me in this season of my life? What is it that he has for me to grow, maybe spiritually grow, maybe to grow as a leader, or maybe to grow as a follower, maybe to grow as a father, or maybe to grow as a husband, or maybe to grow as a friend? What is it that you have for me, God, in this season? And then the other question I would ask is maybe what is it that you have for me to do? And maybe there's some steps that I need to take to, to come out of this crisis better than I went into it, to come out of this crisis closer to Jesus, come out of this crisis closer to my wife, come out of this crisis closer to my kids, come out of this crisis a, a better follower, a better leader, a better friend, a better worker, to come out of this maybe healthier, maybe happier. Maybe there's something in this that God just, God just has for me, but he has for me to do. And so my challenge for you, my encouragement for you today is to know this, that you were created on purpose, for a purpose, and that when you were created, God knew you would be in the midst of this corona craziness, in the midst of this crisis, and he knew that ahead of time. And, and instead of being frustrated with him that we're going through this together, what if you shifted it and said, okay, God, what do you have for me? What is this time that I have, that, that life looks a little different right now, what is it that you have for me to grow in this season? And, and maybe the other question is, what do you have for me to do? Are there things that I can do in the midst of this to be a better leader, a better person, a better follower, a better friend, a better father, a better husband? Uh, what is it that you have for me to do? And I don't know what it looks like, so my challenge is, is I think it's gonna be different for all of us, um, but my challenge for you over the next couple of days is just to spend some time praying. Praying that God would just help you see that not only that he knew you'd be in this so he can help you through it, but help you see what it is that maybe you could you could grow in a specific area in your life. What it is, what it is that he might have for you and maybe also what it is that he might have for you to do in the midst of this. 
Go be someone that is being used by God to make an impact by God, even though you're stuck at home. Um, and allow God to work not only in your life, but to work through you into the lives of others. So hopefully you're encouraged, hopefully you're challenged. We're gonna get through this. Uh, we There is an end. It will come uh, to an end, and we will be back uh, to seeing each other in person, hopefully very soon. So check this out. Uh, hopefully you're encouraged today. See ya.